Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shadow the Tomb Raider. Alright, so in the last episode we went through a crypt and a secret tomb. If you missed it, go back and check it out because it was pretty awesome. Okay, that's something else new. Oh, I just got an achievement called Legendary Hunter. I'm guessing it's because we hunted like a rare animal, something similar. Alright, well I'm feeling like we've probably looked through like a good portion of that area, if not all of it. Uh, at least that we can, I think there might have been one or two places where we had some missing gear. Um, so now we're going to head back into the city now. We know we have a side quest to work on. Finding some dice for a kid who says a dead man took them. So of course we're going to want to work on that. Let's just steal this hide, like, from them. Because why wouldn't we? How nice of the game to just let us do this. Alright. We're also still exploring because we have not explored the city fully. And that much is for sure. We definitely want to fully explore the city. And not, uh,. Not lose out on anything. So this looks like some sort of temple. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unurato's line that sacrifices Kukukan to restore the sun. And not the other way around. The thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Okay. So they think that there's some sort of sacrifice that needs to happen. All full up. Can't carry anymore. Um, and it sounds like they want to sacrifice maybe that little boy. We're not allowed in there. So we're not going to bother trying to get in there. Nope. So here's another base camp in the Temple District. Um, so this is new. Oh, but that's the one we got from completing the Challenge Tomb. I only have one point, so I don't think we'll be able to do much. The next level weapons would be really good. Um, what's this? Resist damage from enemies for a short period after performing a stealth kill takedown. That might be a good one. Well, it's definitely a good one. Yeah, next upgrade level takes two points, so that's what we're saving for, I think. Okay, more people we can talk to. We want to learn as much as we can. It's busy today. Kukulkan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. Many make their own offerings. Got more going on up here. The cast out knows the minds of the gods. Show me sign. Another mission. Is it you? No, he's probably in this building, whoever it is. Of course, we want to find out as much as we can. So, a mission giver. There are two side quests in this city. Monolith. A monolith right in town. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Alright, we can't. 
cannot decipher it. Looks like we can get a mission from him. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead. I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Okay. So this was part of our other quest. It wasn't that we had a new quest giver. Can I look in this box? I would need to have a lockpick, and I don't. Maybe we can buy those. I wonder if we can. Can we buy those? Okay, wait, hold up. Something's not right. What's going on here? All right, well, we met him. So we have to speak to five who have been cast out. Like, if I go here... Okay, so it, it will tell me. There are only four. Perhaps he counts as the fifth. Okay, when we were up here it said quest giver found. Maybe he is a quest giver because he gives, like, the next part of it? I don't know. But I want to head up here. They said I'm a liar. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. Well, what outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. I don't so understand. Do do I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I served the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Paititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I okay, okay I'm to starting to see what's happening. The outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. Okay, so we've talked to one of them. That's something. Map updated. Oh, so we know of a gold drop-off point now. Fine by me. There's a lot of stuff in here, like relics. I mean, I guess it's not that surprising. They're probably cared for since there are still people here. They wouldn't let them just deteriorate to nothing as long as they care about these artifacts, right? There's just so much. It's like every left, right, and center, there's something else for me to look at. That was just a bug. Not a shiny thing, just a bug. Okay. 
Normally we can't climb around in these houses. I don't have space for that. But this house we can climb in. Although it doesn't seem like it, there's a lot of purpose for doing it. We can. Murals, documents. We're learning an awful lot about where stuff is. Alright, let's see if we can find some more of the cast out people to talk to. Okay, there's another person who's shining green. This is a very complex city. I'm never going to learn where all the roads are. Okay. Chanting is a little uh, unnerving. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in the city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kukulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. Alright, talk to two of them. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Okay, monolith clue. So I think we need to follow the canals if we want to find that hidden treasure. There's nothing over here. There's so much to explore. Um, there's only two more forgotten people on the map, unless two of them are together. Which I suppose is possible. So it's telling me the condor is over there. We've been up here though. We don't need to be up here now. Let's talk to this person. Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the sea, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see for reflection. One day, she knelt beside one of the pools, and the fish surfaced. She became very angry. The ripples in the water ruined her reflection. This queen tried to capture the fish, but she slipped and fell in and disappeared. Disappeared? Many tunnels between the whales were discovered during the search, but she was never found. Some say the queen is still down there, trying to catch that fish. Thank you. That was quite the story. Interesting. So we might be able to find something out with that. This person's got a tunnel built into their house. A 
and it seems like that's pretty much the only way back here. I'm glad I noticed it. We might never have found this place. There's another challenge tomb. Oh my goodness. I mean, we can't say no to a challenge tomb, right guys? I would imagine the answer is no. We shouldn't say no to challenge tombs anyway. They can get us some really cool gear. I just didn't think there was going to be that much in the city. We still haven't found all the outcasts and... We've been talking to people like left, right, and center. Yeah, I know. Actually, I might have gotten that second uh, point that we needed because we did. We d we have a new one. We're working on a new skill point. So let's see. Yeah, we want this one. So now that'll probably. Um, yep. We've got upgrades available for our weapons now. An arrow and rest on the shaft makes loading arrows easier and faster. Um, it doesn't... Let's see. Let's just... Do as much as we can. Let's just have the best weapons we can. So we don't have enough powder. We probably won't have enough for, like most other things, but hey, anything we can do, we're upgrading now. So. 8 of 11, so I'm guessing there are not, yeah, we cannot afford any of the new ones here. That's fine. We found ourselves another base camp. So I really wonder if this person knows that there is a secret tomb that you can only access from what I'm gonna guess is her house's personal water supply. It's kinda icky, but what do I know? Oh, this might be the fourth swan dive. We'll be sure to swan dive our way out of here and get that fourth swan dive. Oh my goodness, so much around here. We'll have to keep our eyes open for it want to. Something tells me it... I was like, maybe it's in the pool, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, no, it's gotta be through here, right? This is the only place it could be. Unknown area challenge two. It's a long jump, but you can make it. Where do we go? Ah. So where do we go from? this. Doesn't look like we want to go down. Actually, we might. We might want to go down. Yep. How did I know? I wasn't exactly sure what we were going to grab onto, but I knew we had to run, run that way. Must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. She didn't quite make it to that ledge. We'll make it this time, hopefully. Maybe. Oh, all the way from the beginning? Really? Come on. I mean, I guess it's really not that far back, but still. We did this part. 
Down we go. So let's just make sure that we get the right access point this time. From the river banks. All right, up we go. So this is the temple, huh? Well, we're here now. I don't know if they really want us exploring their temple. feel like they probably don't. They didn't even really want us like around exploring in the first place. Okay, this seems very hidden tomb-ish. So... Open this. Depiction of a brightly lit chamber. We cannot interact with that. Oh. New base camp discovered. Right here, yay! We must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. So let's activate this base camp, and I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.